Well, um, I just want to say something about my antidote. The reason I say it like that is that, you know, I have this one friend who is, I thought was like my best friend, and then I came to find out that all these other people had him as a best friend too, and I was like, wow, this is amazing, you know, and I feel the same way about my Auntie Del, is that she, she was able to just focus her attention on, on the person she was with. It's been said already here before. I remember one of my earliest memories was being at the grandmother's house. Um, and, and she would always tell me, I love you so much. I love you so much. And I'd just be like, I barely know you. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is that she, she did. And it, and it really it affected me, you know. It's, and um, it's like she excelled in this very important mitzvah. This is, this is the biggest thing. There's a sage from the Talmud. It's, one of the earliest sages, Rabbi Hillel. And he said, he's the one who made famous, love your fellow man as yourself. And then he had a student named Rabbi Akiva. And Rabbi Akiva was said that, that love your fellow man as yourself is a great principle in the Torah. And it means that every single thing in Torah has something to do with loving your fellow man. And if, it, if you're doing it and, and it doesn't, that means you're not doing it right. So everything goes back to that. And then Rabbi Akiva had a student named Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai. And he, he excelled in this mitzvah. He was a lover of, of all people. And he would go out to help them, even when they didn't ask. And the thing about him is when, the reason I mention him is because Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechai, when he passed away, he passed away on Lag Omer. Some people might be familiar with the holiday of Lag Omer, which comes between Passover and Shavuos. And he said, when I pass away, I want everyone to rejoice. They, you know, there's a custom that went on the yard site, which is the year, year anniversary each year, that you're supposed to fast, and people don't know how to act, and everyone goes, should we be sad? Should we be happy? Should we get together? What should we do? And this is what he said. And it's... it's it, he, he made this popular. Now all over the world there's major celebrations, like in Israel where he's buried. People go there, there's crazy, crazy parties, and people go there to have their hair cut the first time when they're three years old. And so, you know, I propose that, that on the anniversary of her passing that people should remember this, that they should to have this, this joy. Because when, on that anniversary, everything that a person did in their life is like revealed in the world. And it's available to, to gain strength from and to, to remember. And, and that person's soul actually goes higher in heaven each year on that day. And one further thing is, I'll tell you a little story. I'm from California. I've lived in California since 1978. A lot of it rubbed off on me. But the place where I live, <laughs> the place where I live is a very special place where there's a, there's a migration of, of monarch butterflies. Uh, we just want that. We have to go real quick. Where's Amy? Sure. I'm almost done. Just a moment. So and there's there's a there's a migration of monarch butterflies that come from Canada. Listen to this, and they go all the way to Mexico, and it's a journey of four thousand miles. Okay, and they stop in the town where I live, and they feed on these eucalyptus trees, on the nectar from the eucalyptus, and I found out recently. That that how I was thinking. You know, how can a butterfly travel 4,000 miles? I mean, it, it's, it sounds crazy. It's the one butterfly. They're the the black and orange ones. And then I found out that not the same butterfly makes the journey. There's they pass away, and then there's you know they, they go through their whole cycle and they, you know they do their whole thing the way butterflies do, and then the next generation continues the journey. It's a journey of 4,000 miles, but not the same butterfly makes the journey. So the point is that, that the Jewish people have, instead of a okay, 4,000 miles, we have a 4,000 year history. And people have come and gone. And they've all, we've, they've, all these things have been said, you know, about all these people who are deeply, have this 
deep conviction to this purpose that we have, which is to be a light unto the nations, to be a light in, in, for the whole world. And that's what my Auntie Deli was. She was a light unto the nation. She was a light unto the, everyone she came in contact with. So we have to remember that we have to continue the journey. It's not just, it's, 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 she was a major link, and we're major links, and people came before her, and they said the same thing, and then, you know, here was this little girl who grew up to be this loving person, all these people are gathered, and we got to do the same thing. We got to carry on in her way, the people that we meet, to give the focus that she gave them, each person, and that's what we have to, that's what we can learn, and to, and to remember to, to celebrate, to celebrate her life through this love and this joy. Thank you. Thank you.